What's up, everybody? It's me, Luke, and today we'll be playing some League of Legends as Jax in the top lane. <laughs> We're on top. We're Jax. And I like that. So, I like Jax because he has, like, gladiator energy, kind of. And I got this really cool Mecha Gundanium skin. I, I, I really enjoyed watching Gund... Oh. Mordekaiser, don't. See, he's fallen for the classic blunder. Fighting to the death with somebody who has a dirty trick. I... I premeditated that. I had a dirty trick to pull on him at level 1. Most Jax players, they don't take exhaust. Because, I don't know, maybe they just don't see the dirty trick there. But for me, the problem is at level 1 or level 2, people don't want to stand there and fight me to the death a lot of the time. And that's what I want. I want to force them into this irrational, stupid fight where we got to bang it out. Me and him, bro. Me and him. Uh-oh. See, Mordekaiser players, they don't know. They don't know I've been facing them all the time. Like, there's so many Mordekaisers. Like, bro, I know how to use his ultimate better than he does. Like, come on. Uh, they might still get me. I don't know. Let's see. So, I really watched a lot of Gundam, the anime as a kid. I really liked Gundam. And I think that was cool. It taught, like, a, it got, like, a whole generation of youngsters. Because back then it was cable. Everybody watched the same thing. And it was cool. But it got a whole generation of youngsters into robots and giant fighting robots in particular i feel like a lot of shows like there was a tv show called battle bots where they literally built little remote control robots that fought to the i've paid for my arrogance in game but they there was a show called battle bots where they had little remote control robots and these robots would fight and flip each other over and hit each other pickaxes and i think there was like a some kind of version might have been a british version either and that where they lit each other on fire that's cool bro that's cool that's cool i love watching little tiny fighting robots but like the implication for society of popularizing tiny fighting robots like that's bad because then people could like use them like it might have even like you know the popularity of that might have even help drone technology come along but who knows who knows um I do like remote control stuff. I do like remote control robots, planes, whatever. They're cool. They're nice. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about Descartes. But first, I did want to talk about Jax. Like, I like Jax because, you know, he's a powerful character. But in the early game, unless you're like me and you've, you know, prepared. Because I'm, I'm the type of guy who likes to prepare and rehearse. So before the match even started at level 1. I had already prepared and rehearsed the trick that I was going to pull on him. And since it's best of one, I can pull the trick on him and he's not prepared for it. Maybe if he fought me again, he'd like be able to prepare around it. But no, that's not how this works. So like, I always like to pull that sort of thing in the early game. Uh-oh. 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 Look at this. The ward hop also feels like a trick. But, like, it's a primary mechanic for Jax. But you just have to be prepared for things, you know. Think five steps ahead. And I like Jax because, sure, he's strong in the beginning. But unless you're prepared like I am, he's kind of weak and he can get wrecked by a lot of people. But he's a character who improves himself and gets stronger. And the better your mindset and, you know what I mean, the better your focus, the stronger he becomes. I like that. Uh-oh. Can't eat these cues. Can't eat any of his attacks. He can't get his field going. Or else he'll start beating me. See? Mordekaiser needs to hit three times to start his circle. So if you just don't let him hit three times, he doesn't get his circle. And you limit his damage to a certain extent. And there's my brother. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm queued up with my brother this game. And he's playing this new Udyr rework. And it is ridiculously strong. Like me, I have to avoid getting hit three times. He just walked over and beat him up. <laughs> Uh, that's 10 out of 10. That's 10 out of 10. You know? But yeah. You know, say hi to hi to my brother in the comments. He, appreci he appreciates it. You know? It's that duo Q life. And we're probably going to win. I'm getting pretty far ahead. Like, I like to play characters where when I do get a kill, it's a pretty big lead. You know? I, you can play an early game character who walks in gets 10 kills, and then loses. You could throw the whole game. But if you play a nice scaling character and you get those early kills, then, like, you're probably going to win. And it, it, like... I guess it's, like, a psychological advantage because you know you're going to keep getting stronger. 
That's the good part. You just have to dodge Mordekaiser's Q. That's his main source of damage. And don't let him hit you three times, which Jax doesn't let you hit him because he has his counter strike, right? He's about to get his third hit. Nope, nope. You see, you can't let him hit you three times. Otherwise, and you have to dodge his Qs. Otherwise, he gets his field going, and that's where... There it is, but I killed him. See, I managed to keep him from getting his circle for long enough that I just whooped his booty. Okay, so today I want to talk about my favorite philosophers, philosophizers, which is Descartes. Like, I, I'm an Aries. I don't know if you believe in philosophy or not. It doesn't matter, but it feels like that's the team you're on. Like, having a Zodiac is, like, the same as having, like, a baseball team that you really like. I'm Aries, so Descartes was also an Aries, Descartes. So I like that. I, I, I vibe with that. We have the same energy. But Descartes, Descartes, was a neurotic, insane weirdo. Now, I shouldn't say that, but, you know, I, I, I'm a pretty good judge of character. So, the first thing you have to, I have to point out is that my favorite philosophers are the philosophers who have a meme attached to them. For example, Socrates is like, I'm the smartest man in ancient Greece because I know nothing. And Descartes was like, I think, therefore I am. And you know what? I'm the smartest man in ancient Greece because I know nothing. That's something that you have to think about. That's something that takes some brain power to pump and reason through. You know, and like, oh yeah, that's deep, bro. I like that. That's smart. Let's see if I can kill him again. See, he couldn't get his circle going, so a lot of his damage doesn't come through. And that's nice. That's, I think Jax is a pretty nice counter. I got Divine Sunderer because Mordekaiser's kind of a tank. And when I cast spells, it like really chops him down and heals me. So that's cool. And you know, Bruisers beat tanks, but he's kind of a Bruiser, kind of an AP Bruiser tank. Like, so like, we'll, we'll just beat him up, you know, a little bit, a little bit, with, hit him with Lamp, you know. So Descartes saw, thought, I think, therefore I am. And he didn't just get to that point overnight. Like, he had to think about getting there. He had to... Basically, he decided he had essential beliefs. Like, he had to eat, brush his teeth, go to see his mom. His family went to church, so he had to go to church. And he had to, you know, go to the bathroom. He had, like, some essential beliefs. Things that he would die if he didn't believe in. So, right there... You know, he's kind of made a problem with his own philosophy because he has to do these things. So you're, apparently you're not just eating. You're also seeing your family, going to church, going to work, paying your bills. Uh, <laughs> you're a lot of things. We're a lot of things. But at the base level, it is, I think, therefore I am. Because you have to think to make any of these processes going on. Yeah, you have to think to make any of these processes go on. And because of that... I think Descartes was pretty cool because he realized that it is all in our head. Everything that we do is in our head, and it's all a story we tell ourselves. I guess that's what I always try to tell me, like tell myself and think, and it's based off a lot of what Descartes said. Life is a story we tell ourselves, you know? And, oh, this man's picked the wrong homie to fight in his bubble. Maybe he beats me. Oof. Oh, he has his field. Can we beat him? <gasps> we beat him. Um, but yeah, Descartes said, I think, therefore we am, therefore I am. And then he built his belief system from there. Like he reduced himself to this insane state. And the only reason he didn't reduce himself farther is because he knew people would worry about him and he lived in medieval times. And like, the thing is, eventually Descartes moves away from his family and, like, the things that kept him grounded because he starts getting to be reputable as a teacher and a philosophizer. And he moves to Sweden, where he's the personal tutor of a Swedish princess. But, like a nerdy Aries weirdo who's nocturnal, like myself, Descartes could not handle waking up to teach a lesson every day at 6 in the morning. And eventually, the combination of waking up at 6 in the morning 
Well, and working at six in the morning, so we had to wake up at five. The combination of waking up at five and the brutal cold of Sweden killed poor Descartes. The man who thought, I think, therefore I am, and broke down his belief system and was like, bro, I don't have to believe anything. You, like, he went to church and he went to work and he did all these things, but he's like, this only exists because it exists inside my mind. And like, I'm not that weird, but maybe one day I will be. No, maybe not. <laughs> That's like too weird. But he was so neurotic about his philosophy that he changed the course of human reason future generations their rhetoric the stories they tell themselves the way they think and approach the world were changed by Descartes now I can be a student of that without being as weird and neurotic as him because a lot of people can learn from somebody without being like them but yeah a nerdy Aries nocturnal weirdo beautiful just like myself. And then he goes up there to Sweden and wakes up probably at 5 a.m. And then serves this princess for her lessons that she only sometimes shows up to at 6 in the morning. And then he dies. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wake up at 6 a.m. killed him. I can't believe it. That's the one that always makes me laugh. Because a lot of them have, like, a reason. Like, Socrates was sentenced to death because they accused him of betraying and being against Greece. But he's like, I would never be against them. And in fact, you can't even break me out of jail because I'm so lawful that I won't even break the law right now. In fact, I never broke the law, not even one time, because I'm the most neurotic philosophizer. And it's like, he didn't. And he was so true to his belief system that they they executed him for being like, for something he never did. And like, when you watch his philosophizing, it's like he really didn't ever do it. He was like, true the whole time. And they're just a hate mob, man. And I get it. Like, I've had, I've had like million person Twitter hate mobs come at me being like, bro, you should die. And it's like, wow. It's the sort of thing that blows your mind. Like when that many people, it's like, ding, ding, ding. Your notifications are going off. And it's like, some people say that when you get notifications on social media, it's like a dopamine high. Well, this is like the opposite 10,000 times a second. It's like, like, a, like it's people don't realize how many a million is. And a million haters, they could, you know what I mean? 10,000 insults a second. Like that blows you away. Blows you away. So I can understand where Socrates is coming from. But man, this man should have survived. Like Descartes, he survived the haters. In fact, he was so disconnected, disassociated, he is like, I only exist because I think I am my own thoughts, and that is all. I didn't think that was a calling. Uh, all right. So they're like, my own thoughts, therefore my thoughts. It's like that was Descartes and you know what it's eventually what led him to success some people say that the quality of art is a factor to judge art by but another factor in which to judge art by is the purity in which it expresses its message purity is a form of beauty and on this scale sure Certain forms of art might be beautiful, you know, on a regular scale, people might think all sorts of abstract forms of art are beautiful and all sorts of things, but when you look at something for the purity of its expression, that also captures the beauty of an abstract art. Like Michelangelo's David. That's pure, it's exactly David, the way you'd expect him to be, and people loved it. Or like the movie Pacific Rim where the giant robots fight the giant kaiju sea monsters. It's exactly what it's meant to be, making it a form of high art because of how pure it is in its expression of its intent and purpose. And in this same realm, Descartes being neurotic is also a pure expression of art. Let's see if they stop me. 
Let's see if they stop me from ending the game. Let's see if he stops me. You're not gonna stop me, bro. You're not gonna stop me. I'm too strong. Too strong. Samsung strong. Oh, gotta run for my life. Run for the... Alright, so, um... Yeah, so Descartes is going, I think, therefore I am. And getting rid of all of his beliefs, political, religious, all of them. Except for the fact that he thinks and can philosophize. That's a form of high art because it's pure to what he intends to do and what he wanted to do. See, they couldn't stop me from winning. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys have a meme that defines your philosophy, like they don't think it be like it is, but it do or had to do it to them, leave it down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Tell me, Luke, you did a great job. And I really appreciate that. And hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys. It's the...